to the ballpark we go 24 hours after tens of thousands of fans lined up outside Dodger Stadium for those coveted Shohei Otani bobbleheads. Today, a lot of people are talking about the people who got the Shohei bobbleheads and are trying to cash in. The Dodgers, though, preparing to take the field again tonight are Tim Caputo live at Dodger Stadium. Tim, we've seen some pretty jaw dropping prices online for those bobbleheads. Is anybody really going to pay 20 grand for a Shohei bobblehead? Mark, I hope not. Listen, I think it's wishful thinking for the folks who are trying to sell it for that kind of money, but they are going for a lot of cash. If you go on eBay right now, you could actually see bids in people trying to buy the bobbleheads for 1800 bucks, 1900 bucks. That's at least for the gold bobblehead, the more rare kind of exclusive one that was handed out at the ballpark yesterday. But the regular bobbleheads that were given out free at Dodger Stadium yesterday still going for a pretty penny as well. I wanted to hold one to show it up, but I only have 100 bucks, which means I can't afford one. A bobblehead selling for as much as a BMW. I think I've seen a gold one going for about $20,000. Okay, a used BMW, but still insane prices for a plastic figurine of Dodger star Shohei Otani and his dog Decoy. They were given out at Wednesday night's game, and the lines to get in the stadium just to grab one weaved around the parking lot. 40,000 bobbleheads were handed out, and only a few, maybe a couple thousand, got that special gold edition. The resale for these somehow exceeding bobbleheads of Dodgers legends, according to Adrian Flores, who sells collectibles at Cardboard Legends. The prices on these are it's just insane. I mean, there was a Sandy Koufax, there was a Vince Scully limited edition uh, done, and the price for those are nowhere near what uh, this Otani is selling for. The regular bobblehead can be yours for $150 and up. The gold one? Well, you might need to skip rent in September because only a few are listed under $2,000. Those who snag that coveted gold one say they're holding on to theirs. See the prices that they're going for online? Oh, yes. And you're still not going to sell it? Nope. Why not? Because I'm a fan. Dodgers pitcher Joe Kelly paid a hefty price to get one for his son, trading his game-used glove for one. We flagged him down and we told him like we'd do a trade. and. Um, it seemed like he didn't really want to give up anything besides the hat, and then we convinced him to trade the glove. So yeah, I think it was for his son Knox, really, mainly, and Knox persuaded him to do it. Kelly's son even posing for a photo in the clubhouse with both the gold bobblehead and the real-life Otani, a picture Joe Kelly's wife posted on Instagram. If you want to grab one, remember, these mind-boggling prices are what sellers are asking. It doesn't mean anyone actually paid 20 grand. But my best advice for everyone is just be patient. Um, the prices will go down. Where I mean, not rock bottom, I mean, they won't be super cheap, but they'll be more affordable in about two, three, four weeks. Yeah, maybe a thousand bucks, a little bit more affordable for the gold one. That collectibles dealer also said the reason that these are potentially going for so much money is the fact that Otani's just so popular, not just here in LA and in the US, but in Japan as well. Everyone truly just wants to get a piece of Otani in his first year with the Dodgers, which will likely be an MVP year. I like to think, though, all that money is for Decoy the dog, who also has a little bobblehead included in his in that little statue. Yeah. We're live outside Dodger Stadium. Tim Caputo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And